Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the new M. Night Shyamalan movie, Trap. Uh, went and saw this movie today with my wife. It's been out for a few days now. It was excellent. Uh, you know, I know I, like, I know I caught a lot of crap on my last review for Long Legs, so I didn't care for it. Uh, I will be very, very upfront. I am an M. Night Shyamalan fanboy. Love his movies. I always have. You know, I think with his movies, I know they're very polarizing, but you think about, like, Sixth Sense, Signs, Unbreakable, just came out of the gate so strong. And then you had movies like Visit, uh, that were very good, Old, which I enjoyed. You know, I haven't disliked a ton of his movies. I would say the only movie of his I really hated was Lady in the Water. Uh, I also very much liked, like, even some of the movies that people didn't like a ton, uh, I thought were pretty good, right? Like, I think he's always... What I, I appreciate about M. Night Shyamalan is he tries to do something different and unique. Now, I will say this is his most mainstream movie, but I thought this movie was excellent. You know, when we were watching the movie, it kind of, it's a big movie, right? And it was interesting because we saw the um, preview for Smile 2, which has a similar idea anyway, when you have this big pop star who's the star of this horror movie. And I don't know if I'd call Trap a horror movie as much as I would call it a, you know, a thriller. Uh, but it was a very good thriller, right? I sat back and watched it. You know, my wife and I walked out and we both looked at it and said, man, Josh Hartnett was really good in that movie. Like, probably the best performance I've ever seen from him. He really came across uh, as someone who was unhinged. And the only disappointment in this movie is I thought, again, with Shyamalan doing a ton of twists in his movies, I thought somewhere there may be a twist in this movie and there wasn't. Uh, it's very straightforward. Probably more straightforward than any other movie that he's done. I think the one downside to this movie as you walk through it, so when the movie starts out, you know from the trailer that they're trying to catch a serial killer. Uh, Josh Hartnett is the serial killer. The concert is the trap. I am not giving you a spoiler. You learn all of this in the trailer. Like, all of the information is there. So you walk in kind of eyes wide open, and what you're watching is this study on how, how they're going to trap him, right? Like, what is going to happen? And the show was great. Like, you know, this was kind of a little bit of a showcase from Night Shyamalan's daughter. And she's excellent in the movie, right? She plays the, you know, the main singer, Lady Raven, and she gives a killer performance. Like, I think her vocals are good. From what I read, she she wrote and sang the songs. Uh, I think the parts that she acted came across very well. Even M. Night Shyamalan himself had a very small acting role like he usually does, and it felt a lot less stilted or wooden than it usually does. I thought he played his part well. There was a part with Allison Pill who comes in, who I knew from, like, Newsroom, uh, and she plays uh, the mom and the wife in the movie. Um, she was very good. I thought, you know, you don't have a lot of characters in this movie. Even though it's a big movie and it takes place at a concert, and it's a, a big set with a ton of extras, the movie really only takes place with maybe six or seven characters that you recognize as characters in the movie that are relevant, that take, you know, that are relevant in more than one or two scenes. So as the movie went along, I thought the concert stuff was great. I thought, you know, watching Hartnett trying to figure out, like, how he's going to escape this trap that he's been put into... Uh, was awesome like he was so good and so manipulative but he comes across as this you know genuinely likable guy i kind of get a little terry o'quinn stepfather vibe where he was uh charming but charming where you could tell there was nothing behind the eyes which is always such a good um villain villainous character when you have that person that you know could be that they sweet talk they charm you but you know there's just something that's not quite right there he plays that character to perfection uh there's a good comic relief in the movie you know, the one thing I would say would be the only demerit in the movie to me is it probably runs a little too long. There's like two or three false endings in the movie before you get to the real ending. And the real ending felt a little forced. I think the movie could have ended um, probably 10 or 15 minutes earlier and it still would have been just as effective. Or, and this is where I'll give Shyamalan a little, a little criticism because he wrote and directed. Um, you know, have the guts to go through with the ending you look like you were going to go through with. Like, have the guts to have the bad ending. Which you don't really see in Shyamalan movies. You don't really get bad endings in Shyamalan movies. You kind of find a way uh, for everything to kind of wrap up. Probably the closest version to a bad ending might have been The Happening, where you see some stuff potentially starting to take place again. But I thought it was great. Like I said, I would give this movie maybe a 7 or a 7.5. I don't think it's a true horror movie. I think it's more of a thriller. But I think it's a very good thriller. I think it's well done. I think Shyamalan is, uh, this is like I said, probably his most direct movie. Uh, there's no wild twists in the movie, right? It's just a good, fun thriller. But again, it's one of those, like I talked about, it's like a Liam Neeson movie. Like, it's not a movie I'm going to go back and watch again. Like, it's not something that's compelling. But for entertainment, for an hour and 45 minutes with strong acting, good writing, 
good areas of suspense, kind of what's going to happen. The cat and mouse piece, very, very good. It's a movie I would recommend, and I hope you enjoy the heck out of it. If you haven't done it so far, guys, please hit that like and subscribe. We're like almost in a spooky season. I think I'm a month away from going to Halloween Horror Nights. I'm probably going to go to Halloween Horror Nights in, in Anaheim as well. Uh, my work has a, we have a work meeting there. I'm going to try to get in a day or two early and go do that. So there's going to be a lot of stuff on the plate. I've been talking to local friends. We want to get to all of the Halloween haunts in the area. And my wife decided to be crazy and bought the 12 foot skeleton. So I got to find a place for the 12 foot skeleton in our yard haunt. So there's going to be a lot coming up very soon. We can't wait to share it with you. We'll talk to you really soon. And thank you for checking us out.